Alrighty everyone, it's Vicar 9 and welcome back to Metro Prime Remastered. Our uh, last session, uh, we pretty much went ahead and got ourselves the space jump boots, so now we can double jump, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we also got the artifact of strength in the magma caverns. And then finally, uh, we managed to also uh, defeat uh, Shigoth and get ourselves the, the wave beam, which is quite awesome. Um, in this session, uh, we're going to be going ahead and continuing on with our journey uh, through the... Um, the drafts, the fen drawn drafts, drafts of war, fen drawn um drafts. I uh, will be going through there. I think there is like a um a door that we can open now because of the wave beam. There's like one over here, and there's possibly other couple couple other things that we could probably do too. And yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, so, anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. It's the previous episode set up for the series. Check it out via playlist on my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel to stay today on games such as this and any other games playing at the moment. Okay, so... Oh yeah, these guys will be here now, aren't they? Just get away from them. The only way I can still destroy those enemies is with the... missiles, so... It's okay. I can destroy these electric electric enemies now. Am I going the right way? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, I guess I am. I think this is the only way to get to the, the door, but... Sure. There is another door somewhere. I should, probably should check the world map uh, just in case. I think that's all there is with the um, with this area. Oops. Check Chozo. Can't go into the magma pool. Not over there. I mean, there's a door there in the furnace. But I don't think I can open that either. Um, maybe it's in Talon Overworld, if I remember. Hmm, I swear there was another door. I swear there was another purple door that I could open, but that's okay. That requires... up there requires the, um, spider mechanic. Now I can jumble jump, we can possibly get up here. <laughs> also, probably need to jump from up here. There we go. those enemies away. Probably could have gotten up here with double jump, possibly. Oh yeah, I probably could have. <laughs> there was no reason to go all the way around like that. So there's the door. Um, I think I go in here. That thing is down. Out before. Oh god. Oh no, I've fallen down here. <laughs> oh no. Whoops. Is there an easy way? Oh, I just I probably just need to walk back, don't I? Oh I've been frozen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I, oh bloody hell. It's just right here. Oh, these little guys were down. <laughs> I didn't even notice them. These guys are here too. Flying enemies. Got them. There we 
go. So the wave beam does shoot slower than the, um, just the normal beam attack. What's it called? Power beam. But it does take out, like, certain types of enemies, which is cool. This is cool. Ruins Courtyard. Seems to be some like ball device. Need to power it up. There we go. Got stuff opened, I guess. All the music's changed. Now I'm finding the water. There's another one over here. Open those other two. Okay, so now we need to go into that hole. It's a hole I can go into? I don't, I'm not sure. Okay. Can't open it just yet. Now we need to make our way up. Now that's powered up. Oh, the water's going to rise now. That's what they are for. Beautiful. And now the music's changed back to this. <laughs> oh, I'm on a timer, I think. Yep, I was on a timer. Well, I think I've made it. I don't know if I can make that jump. I feel like I can. Oh, this door still has no power. Oh, a nearby power conduit must be energized for it to open. A blast of electrical energy will energize the conduit. Conduit ra radiates some heat that is invisible in the normal spectrum. What does that mean? <laughs> do, we need, we do, do we need like X-ray vision <laughs> or something? <laughs> What are you on about? Infrared. Um, I'm gonna see if I can make this jump. Yeah, I can make it. It's a safe point. Okay, good. Luckily, I got this. That would have been horrible if I didn't. Bam, bam, bam. So now we'll go through this door. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Hello. A new creature has been detected. It's very close to me. Shadow Pirate. Shadow Pirate forces trained and equipped for stealth operations. A select group of space pirates have access to sophisticated cloaking technology. The gear, this gear drains high value levels of power. However, forcing them to rely solely on melee weapons in battle, use enhanced detection here while fighting these units. You scan 25% of the logbook. 
Oh, nice. This guy's very close to me. I explode. Got him. Fuck is this root area? What the hell? Empty stasis tank used for biological specimens. Latent? Or len latent? Yeah. Latent radiation readings indicate the specimen was highly ir irradiated. Oh. Of course. Empty stasis tank used for biological specimens. Our uh, readings highly irradiated. What's this say? Auto turret malfunction. Well, we did we did destroy it. Circuit breakers for lab sub processing. Okay. Ooh, what is this room? Oh God, what, what's that robot thing? Uh oh, doors locked. Space pirates. Oh, they got they do a lot of damage. Oh wait, not really. <laughs> I think I took a good amount of damage from the turret. Unless that guy did uh, deal the melee damage to me in that case. Oh man, they're slippery. Ooh, that was a good shot. Is he dead? No, he's not. Now he is. Doors have been unlocked. What the hell is this rude? Research entrance, okay. This is strange. Force field accessible only through space pirate bio, bio imaging. Impossible to breach. Hmm. Oh, this is the map. I think this is the map. If this download the map for this area. Beautiful. Oh, there's like a whole section here. Yeah, so we've, we've pretty much gone through all of it for now. Um, and then this door here will lead to like a whole facility. And then there's like this big dome thing over to the left. Fortunately, I don't think we can get into there because we need infrared or x-ray or something to find a conduit or some power. <laughs> Bit weird. Um, oh, we, I think we can go up here. Yeah. Oh, turret. Bollocks. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There we go, got it. Missile too good. enemies. Oh, okay. Access to research lab Hydra granted. Oh boy. Oh, that guy got launched. <laughs> Okay, well, unfortunately, I destroyed one of the things, but hopefully, there was nothing in it. Specimen 102 increase volun volitionary. <laughs> volun. 
Volunt <laughs> Volition. <laughs> Volition T recorded. Predator awareness indicated even in cold stasis. Well, now he's gone, so. Stasis tank operational but currently empty. Oh, I think all of them probably were empty then. Euthanized 12.091.4 after psychotic episode scheduled for removal. This is take operational but empty. Life sign specimen 029. Life signs normal pulse at 140%, mass increase of 4%. Specimen 043. Decreased vital signs, cold dampening appears to be stable. What's this? Increased acidity levels recorded in phase on abniotic, amniotic bath. This is likely a side effect of phase on ingestion by test subjects. I think that's for the elevator. I think it's an elevator. I don't know what that is. What's this? New pirate data. Okay. Spike pirate encrypted data decoded. Log 10.515.8. Our initial tests exposing Talon 4's indigenous parasites to Phazon appear to be successful. Increases in strength, size, and aggress aggressiveness are common in all test subjects, as well as unforeseen evolutions like additional poison sacs within the abdomen and the appearance of a, of a second ring of mandibles in sec several subjects. These creatures were chosen because of their resilience. And it appears possible that given enough exposure to Phazon, they may they may one day be able to survive on any planet. We transport to them. Our methods will have to be refined. We currently have a 100% extinction rate after the fourth infusion period. And most survivors on the third infusion sta stage are so violent and uncontrollable that they have to be euthanized. Even still, we remain hopeful that further experimentation will result in success. Phazon fluid bath levels at 70%. Checking diagnostics per procedure 12.003.8. New pirate data. Oh, we've got some more. 10.344.8. We have confined. Yeah, confined. Codified? <laughs> a newfound en energy source at as Phazon, a V index mut mutagen of which we have very little reliable data. Indications point to a meteor of unknown origin expelling Phazon into the environment. This material appears to possess the power of a power to mutate organic life forms sufficiently to withstand its poison. These mutations appear promising with abrupt evolutionary leaps appearing in single generation re reproduction. Plans to establish a full science team on Talon 4 are being finalized. Log 10.583.7 Mining operations have begun near the crater where Phazon appears to be mostly con concentrated. Daily Phazon yields have increased 44% and our mining system becomes more streamlined as personal and equipment flows increase. Several incidents of phazon induced madness have been reported, prompting our augmented life support regulations in deeper in the deeper chambers. Symptoms include a loss of equal, equilibrium, erratic res respir respiration, muscle spasms, and in the most extreme cases, hallucinations. Timeline reassessment for the re refinery operation is recommended as the material provides more unstable than the initial analysis indicated. Xenome S-A is undergoing re relocation to Lab Hydra. Subjects transfer ordered after pronounced increase in aberrant 
behavior. Security clearance ADR-13. Hmm, the Xenon, Xenome S-3 was new pirate data. Number one. <laughs> 10.712.1 Most terraforming and reef retrofitting of security checkpoints on Talon 4 is complete while we continue to research the alarming epidemic of breaches by local creatures. Door records show no unauthorized entries so we must presume the creatures are either slipping in undetected during the daily personnel moves or else finding their way in through subterranean tunnels. We have found many small breaches of this later sort and plug them wherever we can, but it is unlikely that we will ever achieve full extermination within our current timeline timetable. Right. Elevator operational. Let's go up. We'll see if we'll find this xenome. Got him. Sliding down. Well, he's gone. <laughs> Oof. Oh my god. Now there's a turret. Oh, that's a good combo. Specimen 070 optimal absorption mutation has led to unexpected degra degradation of internal organs. Boy. There is another pirate log here. Recording to logbook. 10.664.2 Research outpost Glacier 1 in the Vendrana Drifts region of Talon 4's mountains is operating at 75% at capacity. Sub zero temperatures have made the met Metroid sluggish and easy to control. Even those well into phase on infusion, infusion cycles, cold containment status, stasis tanks are sufficient for the juvenile juveniles. For the juveniles, okay. <laughs> but some of the large, larger Metroids have been moved to quarantined caves for safety purposes. Security doors remain an issue as malfunctions due to ice occur every day. Large predators in the waste are also a concern as they continue to kill personnel and breach secure areas. Fortunately, it has become clear that our containment teams cannot neutralize all of them without a vast increase in mutations and soldiers. Radio. Door that goes up. That's very interesting. Oh, that's destroyed. That's good. Oh, there's another one though. There we go. Just that charge beam combo into a missile. Seems to work well. area 
bloody hell, he just jumped right in front of me. What is this? Like something straight out of Half-Life. It's like the, the beginning. Where that, like, whatever it's called, explodes. Wow, this place is massive. It goes all the way up. Lower node of astronomical holographic projector currently deactivated. Oh, it's an observatory. Oh, that's cool. Oh, needs probably need to activate this first. There's another. There's a couple of logs here. We'll read those first, and then we'll do it. Space pirates. Uh, log ten dot not two nine nine dot two. Scans of this spiral sector detected a massive energy spike emanating from a wanderer class planet identified as Talon Four. Scout reconnaissance reconnaissance was immediately dispatched to the center of the spike, a land mass at heading at heading mark 40.808.02, returning with planetary samples and astro atmospheric imaging. Analysis shows the energy source to be unstable radioactive material of enormous potential. We are unable to form an accurate risk assessment of at this time, but we are unlikely to find an energy source this powerful again. Analysis will continue, but currently Talon Falls appears to be a viable secondary headquarters. Log 10.401.7 Phazon mining is underway. Several garrisons have been established and terraforming of the Chozo ruins is underway. Security systems are operational and science team continues and the science team continues to make progress in their biotech research. The Fendrana drifts have proven to be optimal location for research headquarters and soon will be joined by a fully operational combat base in Starpoint. If command's predictions are half true, we shall rise the, to dominance in this sector within a Deca cycle. Okay. Truly, these are glorious times. Holographic map coordinates data has been updated successfully. Okay, that's interesting. Holographic sequence initialized. Ooh. This will be very interesting. Getting this observatory running now. Now we need to charge them up. Two more to go. I love how those um, pistons are actually going to the beat, kinda. And boom. There we go. Now I should, um,. Oh, it's just playing like the solar system. Oh, what's up there? That's cool. Recording to the logbook. 
Planet Sebes. Mass 4.8 trillion teratons. Profile planet's crust is primarily euphric ore, making it ideal for subterranean construction. A class uh, 19. Planet Zebes. Planet? 19 planet. Zebes is inhospitable to most bioforms. The world was considered unremarkable until it became a base for space pirates' forces. Planet Talon 4, mass 5.1 trillion teratons. Ecosystem studies indicate that Talon 4 was a biological parasite prior to the impact of an extraterrestrial extra object. What remains of the biosphere is slowly fading during to exposure to phazon radiation. Current rate of decay, Talon, Talon 4, Talon 4, not Talon. <laughs> Tyon, Talon 4 will be a Baron class uh, 7, oh not 8, 8 <laughs> wasteland in approximately 25 years. Or mine second. 2.3 trillion teratons. An un uninhabitable <laughs> inhabitable wasteland savaged by nuclear dust storms and constant seismic unhe unheavals. Twin Tabula, 4.1 trillion teratons. Planet is best known for twin fever, a disease caused by a viral strain native to Twin Tabula. In the early stages of the disease, victims suffer from, du from double vision when the twin sight fades the victim is near death. Seves. Okay. Is there one I missed? Oh, it's this one. Billium. <laughs> 3.8 trillion teratons. Profile. Quarantine. Atmosphere is rife with material. Mitral. A sentient gaseous global ex exterminator virus. Oh my god. Zebes, Talon. I think I got all of them. There's only five. There's, a, there's the sun and then there's five other planets. Okay. Very interesting. Oh. Boy, I thought I, was, I thought I was a little bit further. Well, I had a little bit more time to jump up. Imagine not having the double jump here. Like, how on earth would you get up here? Is that even possible? There's a room there. But then there's more rooms heading up over here, too. I'm gonna pick up whatever this item is, though. Oh, it's another cannon. Oh, super missile has been acquired. The powerful attack uses five missiles. Using the power beam, press and hold ZR to charge and then press uh, the right bumper to fire. That's good. All right. Let's try it out here. Oops. Oh, that's cool. It's a save point. journey here.
Oh, I can't do it with the um wave beam though. Probably don't need to open those doors like that, but. Oh, this goes. Oh, this is an elevator that goes up. Goes up into this bit. Oh my god, it's still. Yeah. Still a little bit more to do. Access to control tower granted. Please step on into the hologram. Now we're outside. Space pirates, get out of here. Oh, that's good. Just one shot. Oh, I missed that charge shot. Whoa, flying enemies. Flying pu pirates. Oh, I've already, um, tagged them apparently. I got him down. Nice. Got more. It's like I'm playing Doom Eternal. <laughs> Not like a like glory kill. There you go. Far out. Took a lot. Should be open now. Very nice. If I go in here. <laughs> I can go in here, but I don't really know what it does for me. Maybe if I have like the elevator go down or something. Oh, it's, it doesn't let me go forward. I don't think. Let me try again though. Nah, it doesn't let me. Okay. I did try and jump there too, but I don't... On the first attempt there, but... Yeah, I don't think it lets me um, get out. No, I don't think there's like a secret on the top of this area. Oh wait, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's outside. Oh, they're back. Oh, that's what I get for getting going to that field. Music actually, it's, it's very weird, but it's good. What's this? Oh, explosive. Well, what's its purpose? What was that purpose? Purpose of that? God. Oh, there's another one there. Should um scan this. Research Lab AFA. Oh, 
What's a Metroid? The mention of it, so. Recorded to logbook. The reconstruction of Geoform 187, codenamed Ridley, oh, was recently completed. After his defeat on Zebes, command command ordered a number of meta genetic improvements for him. Though aggressive, we were able to implement these changes in a cycle. The metamorphosis was painful. Oh, sorry, I just knocked my funny desk there. <laughs> Hit my desk there. Uh, but quite successful in the end. Early tests indicate a drastic increase in strength, mobility, and offensive capability. Cybernetic modules and armor plating have been added as well. We believe our creation, now called Meta Ridley, will become the mainstay for our security force. A job he will certainly relish. Recorded to logbook. Talon Metroid energy phase based parasitic predator. The, the effects on Phazon have turned these Metroids, a specimen, a species of alpha predator native to SR388 into a unique subspecies found only in Talon 4, a Talon Metro Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing large, larger as it does. The only way to shake an attacked, attached Talon Metroid is to enter Morph Ball mode, play a bomb. Oh! Fuck. That's not good. It got out. Stasis tank B118 contained beyond acceptable safety standards. Removal squad requested. been alerted hit him. <laughs> I didn't think that dodge attack would <laughs> would hit him at all. Shit, that's not good. Confidence is high regarding phase on applications. We know enough about phase on now to begin combining it with space pirate DNA. DNA. Code name for this Venture will be Project Helix. Primarily, studies indicate that phase on infusion could produce ra radical new pirate genomes. Benevolent mutations levels mutation levels are high in current test subjects. Phase on madness is a concern, but the refinements in the infusion process should be reduced or neutralize the odds of metal mental de degradation. Get that um elevator operational. Hunter Metroid DS is showing signs of in increased instability and a heightened mut immunity to cold dampening fields. Hunt 
Motion near Hunter Metroid DG appears to trigger psychotic episodes. Personnel are to stay at least three meters away from Stasis Tank. There was a Metroid in that one. Metroid dis Dissection continues to pr provide more questions and answers. Our research team have isolated the energy conduits that run from the invasive twin mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadripital quadri parital parotite parotite I don't know parotite nucleus but the, the, the matter in which a metroid actually extracts the life form the life force from its prey remains an utter mystery the victim does not lose blood or any other vital fluids and yet the metroid extracts energy identifying this energy is our central problem it takes no physical form and yet without it the victim dies we will continue to research the matter as the isolation of this life giving essence could be the key to our ascendance studies of metroid biology continue for, though with limited process it seems likely that we will be much more successful using metroids for our means rather than trying to reproduce their powers if they could be acquaint acquaintantly tamed we would have no need of a proper understanding of their met metabolo metabolism a small force of this compile this, this way Oh, that's disciplined. The best disciplined Metroids could wipe out an entire armies, and once we find a way to shield them from cold containment weapons, they will be invincible. Furthermore, if we could then harvest the energy they'd consume, we would have a near limitless source of power at our disposal. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a tank in there. Energy tank, this item permanently increases. Okay. Based on infusion stage stage six, subject Metroid BR five four nine seven. Subject smashed at one hundred eighty percent of the previous phase on cycle, increasing di dosage by four percent. Oh, there we go! I got it opened. <laughs> Energy tank acquired. Leave that Metroid in there. Never mind. It's, it needs to die. Kill it. Oh, this one's got. Oh. I want to have more health, I think. Alright, let's drop down here. Who does this enemy think he is just burrowing down? Oh my god, another one. Pirate commit communicate analyzed. Bane research facility located. Pirate facility located right here, right now. Oh, this place is cool. Get him out.
Oh, that targeting. <laughs> I almost fell to the bottom. That would have been good. Central tank control circuit conduction terminated. Oh, there's like some item in there. of metroids in here too it's a cool little area too Do i just drop down oh okay that's, that's cool. well i mean i could just drop down if i wanted to Central tank auxiliary circuit connections terminated. There's another thing down there that we can activate. Central tank main circuit connection terminated. What is this? Oh, it looks like a visor kind of thing. Wait a minute. Oh. Thermal visor. Use down on the D-pad to access the visor. You've found 25% of all the items. Oh, cool. So what can we do with this now? Power's gone out. Okay, we need to use this. Looks fucking weird, but... Power's gone down, so we need to use it. Infrared. Where'd the other enemy go? Get him. Get him out of here. Open these doors? No, oh, I don't think I can. That's probably another type of beam that I need to use. This does look weird to look at, I will admit, um, but I, I think I'll get used to this. <laughs> oh, I got the Metroids coming out. Probably should have destroyed them before. Hold on. We're out. Okay, so that door down there can't be opened, so we pretty much have to get all the way up to the top. Oh, fuck, I can't go up there. Can't do that jump like that. Where'd the Metroid go? Oh, there it is. to the bottom. Oops. Gets this door back open again. Oh. Recorded to 
Sentry drone. Well armed and armored security mecha. Security drones have limited intelligence but do their assigned tasks well. Being machines, they are susceptible to electrical attacks. When alerted, the drones initiate a security lockdown and then attempt to neutralize the intruder. Their electric electronic warfare suits suit can scramble visor technology as well. Holy crap. I can't even see what I'm shooting at, but... It's destroyed. Holy crap. That was... that did a lot of damage to me. So sneaky now. Still very dark in here. This is very cool though. Let me back outside. It's just, these guys just do a lot. <laughs> okay. Um. We definitely need to get out of this facility. It's dark in here too. Oh wow, I fell all the way 
way down to the bottom there. Yeah, it's completely dark in here. Did want to make... Oh yeah, there is that save point. Yeah, I did want to at least make a save. Whoops. Oh, do we need a save now? Oh, I think we probably should, just in case something ends up happening. This room has light. <laughs> That's good at least. Oh, there's a bloody Metroid in there. I'll just leave it be. Oh, he's down below. Dodge. Oh, there's three of them down here. Oh, that guy just got destroyed. Nice. Still dark in here. Dangerous. Man, oh yeah, this is this room, okay. Almost getting out. Okay. We do have one more thing we can do. 
and I, I reckon we'll actually do it in this session. I was thinking like, oh, maybe we should do it next session, but we'll do it this session. Do this. This cordite statue is worn and bothered. Scanned indicates the presence of a power conduit behind the statue. I think I just completely destroyed it. Unless I'm not hitting it. There we go. here. Whoa. A little bit of a trip there. Cool. Oh, this is a... This is a boss. An animated sentient creature of stone charged with phase on radi radiation. Phase on radiation gives us given off by Fardas neglects negates auto targeting systems, preventing lock on. It may be possible to acquire alt alternative target targets with a different visor. The chaotic nature of phase on irradiation leads to instability in its structural integrity. Fardas can encase targets in ice. And, it, and its colossal size and strength make, make it a formidable opponent. Okay, so infrared time. Oh, okay. Need to hit this weak point. the next 
one, upper arm. Still got a little bit of oh, health, so. Got a lizard going around. Okay. Now we really have to use this. Oh, I don't think that hit. Oh, jeez. Somehow I managed to dodge that. say that quick point might be covered. Oh, he's rolling towards me. Okay, that's not good. He's 
rolling into a ball again. Jesus. Oh, I missed. Got him. Get out of here. Rock man. <laughs> Those rock titans. He's gone. That's the spider, isn't it? The spider ball. Has to be. Yay, spider ball acquired. Press and hold ZL while in morph ball mode to attach to spider ball tracks. So that opens up a lot. That actually opens up a lot. Um, we do need to find Faders have claimed Fendara as their own. A tower sits atop their fortress. Laps it to reveal the chamber where the artifact of Elder is held. There's a couple that we don't know where they are, but... All cave stains of Fendara's age, edge seek the unseen entrance at its top to find the artifact of spirit. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Now we can roll all the way around. It's actually quite cool. I like that. And oh, if we have the grappling hook, I think that's what it was referring to over there. This takes us to magma. Oh. Oh, <laughs> okay. Whoops. I was like, is this gonna take me? Give me a moment. Let me go back up. Oh, there was a thing we could go into as well. The door that needs the, um, the missile. I'm gonna go back up. Oh, so that was a... D wait. That was a different entrance. Oh, what's this then? What's this up here? Oh, a door that we can't open. Yeah, okay. I'm hoping that there is a um, save point right now, like behind that um, missile door. I'm just hoping that's the case. If not, that's unfortunate. 
don't know where the next um, save point is, so. Yeah, it is a safe point. All right. That's going to do it for me uh, for this session of Metroid Prime Remastered. Our next session. I would assume we're going to be going back. Yeah, Talon Overworld, I think, was a place we kind of want to go back to. Uh, Chozo Ruins. Was Fendara, Fendrana, Drifts had any of the, the... I don't remember if um, this place had any of the, um, the spider ball stuff. Maybe it did. I'm just not remembering, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go, but... Um, thank you everyone so much for watching this. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you missed the previous episodes that I've done for the series, check it out via playlist on the right side of the screen. On the left side of the screen, a playlist of other games I've played in the past. I'm currently playing at the moment, so if you're interested in interested in seeing those check them out as well and in the middle you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on games such as this and any other games playing at the moment thanks everyone so much for watching this hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys next time Bye bye